Hey, Anchored friends, Tristan here today. So what do you think when you hear terms like character, inner life, or spiritual wisdom? And when you think about your own spiritual journey, do you think about emotional health? So I've been reading through this really cool book by Pete Scazzaro. It's a daily devotional version of his book, Emotionally Healthy Spirituality. And in his writings, Pete shows how our weak emotional life can in many ways cause our weak spiritual life and lack of connection with God. It's a pretty good book. But when we fail to reflect on the past, ignore emotions, especially grief or loss, and choose to run our lives quickly without rest, these are all things that can keep us from growing deeper in our trust in Christ and deeper in our love for others. In reading of Daniel chapter 2, especially verses 14 to 30, I was struck by the way that Daniel conducts himself, even under immense stress and the fear of death. Take a look at those verses. What do you feel when you read about what Daniel does in response to the threat from King Nebuchadnezzar? You know, we get a glimpse of his inner life. We see his wisdom when he talks to the captain of the king's guard. We see his faith when he asks the king for more time. We see his close relationships at work when he asks his three friends to pray for insight. We see his joy, reverence, and gratitude for God when the dream is revealed, and then we see his conviction and even more wisdom when he tells the king how he learned of the dream. And finally, he gives God all the glory and carefully explains that it's through God's care, even for this king, that the dream was revealed. I don't know about you, but Daniel's strong inner spiritual life, deep reverence for God's power and care and the, and the tact and the clear communication that he has, all speak as someone who has developed a healthy emotional life that has helped fuel a deep spiritual life of connection and devotion to God. So for you, are there any areas of your life where fear is driving your interactions instead of trust in God? Or uh, are there any areas of your life where you lack self-awareness or you know, you're being too busy? Busyness just keeps you from paying attention to where you need to grow. So maybe you don't know and that's okay, right? You can ask God, go to him in prayer. As we've seen with Daniel, God can give us insight and grow our knowledge of self. And so why is this so important? So that we may continue to grow as disciples of him and lean into who he made us to be as we make disciples of others.